my greetings dear students so here in this video we will try to see how subscripted variables can be developed in fortran compiler so first of all we will discuss one dimension subscripted variable so as we know from the definition that we can store multiple values in a single variable that is called subscripted variable so we will see how we can implement this variable first of all we will declare the type integer a and its dimension let it be 5 then we will initialize the data data a and then the values 1 2 3 4 5 you can write any value and now we will try to print this value for printing we will write print star comma braces a comma i and as we see i is from 1 to 5 then as usual for 64 bit computer we need to write read stop and end and first of all we will save this program let me save this array 05 now we will run this program before that first of all we will compile it and then we will run this so as you see on your screen so this will be the output 1 2 3 4 5 because we are printing five values now there is another way to print these values using the do loop and you know how can we write that do 10 i from 1 to 5 and here instead of this loop here we will write a i and uh, 10 continue so you see we have written like this now we will try to see what is the difference when we print values in this form we save this now we will print this so as you see on your screen now this values will be printed in a column and before that they are printed in a row so how, how this difference take place because here as you see we are printing one statement every time and uh, in previous program we are printing five values in a row but here we are printing values in a column now if you want to space between consecutive values we will write here print star this will add an extra space between two consecutive values if you want more spaces to be added we will write again print star and when you apply this command more space will be added to this i hope you you will have an idea how we can print one dimensional array